energy improvements are not always just about using less energy. Managing how and when you use electricity can help free up available power and significantly reduce costs. Our energy is measured in three different zones. We've got peak time, off peak time and shoulder time. So what we started doing there is to look in what uh, tariff zone are we using our equipment. So if we could run certain machines in the off peak time, we'd do that. So they didn't necessarily save us energy, it saved us a lot of money. Staggering the start times for machines, which sounds like it's not going to do anything. If, you, if you're going to stagger the start times, you're just going to start later and finish later. But if all the machines start at the same time, their, their peak demand increases and that can greatly increase our power charges. So staggering those starts keeps that peak demand low. Peak demand doesn't only affect costs, but also capacity limits. On one side we have a limitation of power. Um, and to get more power in would have cost us about a quarter of a million dollars. Through uh, reducing our energy, through changing our lights, uh, we didn't have to do this. Controlling how efficiently electricity is used coming into your site can be achieved by installing a power factor correction unit. Power factor correction relates to how efficiently we use the power that comes into our site. So if you can imagine the power comes into the site, it will go through power factor correction before we use the power. So a low power factor might be 0.85. Uh, what that means is you're only using the energy that comes into your site at 85% efficiency. So power factor correction will raise that to 0.95 or even one under best case scenario. And that means that you're using the energy that comes into your site at 95 or 100% efficiency. Zip heaters found the cost of increasing capacity was far greater than going down the path of power factor correction. The cost of upgrading power was around the uh, $200,000. Uh, power factor correction was about $17,000. The, the numbers spoke for themselves. So a $17,000 investment, uh, we would get about a $12,000 saving per annum, so just a bit over a year payback. Voltage variation was another factor that Zip Heaters had to deal with. We've known for a long time we have uh, voltage coming in here, 248, 254 volts. We don't need that kind of voltage, but we're obviously on the early end of the, the power line. So the result of that, we use a lot of resistive loaded equipment. Uh, a lot of our product has electrical elements in them, and at 240 volts, or 250 volts or 230 volts, it's a significant power difference. And the saving that they're saying by having a regulated power supply, just like we did on a power factor correction equipment, should be a huge saving for, for the business. Finding ways to manage electricity supply and demand can significantly lower costs and improve energy efficiency. Many of these skills are reflected in the energy efficiency skill sets in the MSS11 Sustainability Training Package. For more information and additional resources, visit sustainabilityskills.net.au.